Good evening, Auburn High School families. This is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High School. Tonight, we are doing our open house. Hopefully you're in a classroom right now getting to know the teachers of your student or students. Had a little dinner, had a little spaghetti dinner, so hopefully you're able to make that. I wanted to put out a quick video um, just to kind of show you some of the things that we're doing here at the high school. And I show this uh, slide to the students every day. I know our teachers have shown it to the kids because we asked them when we did our class meetings if they've seen this before. And, and really, it's just a slide. That's all it is. Um, but there's power in this slide. And I'm going to go ahead and shut my camera off so we can just focus on the slide itself. And the question, it's a question, what can you do if or when the learning doesn't stick? And I know the more we push our students into taking more rigorous classes, or even if we're like underskilled, like math was always a tough subject for me. So I always felt like I needed to do a little bit extra for that, just using that as an example. And what we tell the kids when the learning sticks, we kind of know what that feels like, okay? But when it doesn't stick, Sometimes we don't know quite what to do. So we've given them six steps that I think fit really well with the services and the supports our teachers can give and our after school program can give. So the first step would be ask more questions, ask others to help explain what isn't making sense for you. Often when it was my own students, my children, I would say sometimes it makes more sense if you can have another student explain it to you. So sometimes that could be a good way or a different teacher to explain it to you. Or maybe ask the teacher to run that by you, maybe in a different way. And our teachers are super accommodating. If that doesn't work, because that can happen sometimes. The second thing is make yourself available for classmates so that everyone can get it. Okay. So the things you understand, help your, your fellow students out. And in, in turn, they're going to help you out. The third thing would be set up a time to work with your teacher, to have them reteach or explain the learning in a different way. And again, our teachers are super accommodating. They also have lives, so they can't stick around for all, forever after school or before school. But I think if a student makes a sincere request that they need some help, our teachers will find a way to do that. Also, um, if a teacher isn't available, they're really great about saying, hey, I can't help you today, but the teacher in you know, room so-and-so can help you out. Okay, the fourth thing a student can do, and I tell kids, if you're not really up to speed with maybe going to a teacher face-to-face, -face, and I pretty much told that to the freshman class. And I had them rehearse a couple of lines for me. And, and sometimes you just have to email your teacher and ask the specific questions that often can come up later. Or maybe you know it in the moment as a learner, but you don't wanna ask it in class. Maybe you'll feel embarrassed. Maybe you just aren't sure the question to ask. But sometimes when you commit it to paper, and in this case, an email, and you send it to your teacher, your teacher are willing to process those things with you. Um, and then the fifth thing is don't give up. Don't ever give up. Eventually, you can learn as long as you continue to persist and you continue to try. Okay, we think that's really important here at Auburn High School. The sixth thing, and these aren't any specific order, it's kind of what's going to resonate more, most for each of our learners, is give our homework club a try. That could be your sixth, that could be your first go-to. Three nights ago, we had three people show up for homework club. Last night, it was three. Tonight, we had 14. And that's great. We've had up to 50 to 60 kids in there after school working on their homework and we do have teachers there and staff members working as academic advisors. So homework club is very much a viable option. It's a quiet space and there's plenty of help. And we run that every Monday through Thursday. So really, unless a student really has a tight schedule outside of school, it, there's no excuse to not get some help or just get the time you need to really work on your studies. I wanna make sure I really impress that upon our families. We're here to help. We also have Troy time which is our, we call it our eighth period, but it actually happens after third period and before fourth. And that's another half hour our students are gonna be given here pretty soon, um, 30 minutes a day, four days a week, third, Tuesday through Fridays, where they can work on schoolwork. Lately, it's been more school-wide expectations, those kind of things that we start at the start of the year, but kids are gonna start seeing that they're gonna have more opportunities to work on their own stuff. And there will be a, a teacher in the classroom, their Troy time teacher. Sometimes that's a regular teacher, sometimes it's not, but again, they're there to help. So anyway, I wanted you to know about this. I wanted you to maybe learn the way we're using this term when the learning doesn't stick. So maybe have some celebrations with your student when the learning does stick, have them tell you about it. And when it doesn't stick, refer to this and uh, you can tell them I shared this with you for sure. But here's some options that you can discuss with your student. I've had these conversations with my own kids. 
Um, but you just got to find a way. And that's really what we tell kids is that success is a habit that will find its way. And failure is something that just doesn't try. We want our kids to keep trying. So thank you very much for those who attended Open House. Thanks for being here. For those who couldn't make it, you know, we're an email or a phone call away. Um, please let us know if there's any way we can help you. Thank you.